Kirsty and I what? spend some time <laughs> making some really nice comment comic cards. cards for. <laughs> Trying to make some some <laughs> right, beautiful awesome. comment cards. For, for what's his name? Uh, his name is Balan. Balan. We're going to make some wonderful comic Milan. cards for Balan. Oh, Percy is wonderful with calligraphy. You showed me. Yes. 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 Thank you. Okay. All right. So you get to that. <laughs> Three, nine, forty-one, forty-two points of damage. What? How do you want to do this? Oh! I take the bead and I want to wait till the eye is looking right at me, and then I want to take it right through the eye. A shot at Clarota. Okay. Betraying bastard. Like I didn't have much to do. Which sharpshooter? Yeah, put some. Like, can do that Nineteen points. That hits. That hits. And let's do my damage. That's a human. Fire the fecal bullet. That's twenty-two points of damage. Shit on the Okay. So Scanlan, as you're you're stunned, you feel the tentacles swirling around the back of your head. Teeth are grinding into the back of your skull, and you feel this horrible pain as all of a sudden. Rhoda's mouth is going to find a way towards your skull. <laughs> and then the tentacles suddenly go limp. Oh. As the back of Rhoda's head. Oh, yes! oh, Traitor! Oh, the mess. Traitor! Killed you kill Rhoda! Him? Yes. Some you people kill? have yes. no sense of fucking honor! Right there? That one right there. Okay, go ahead and roll for attack. Oh, oh, God. Natural 20! What the <laughs> fuck? This is the best night for Percy I am, ever. I am, <laughs> no. I'm just sitting in the corner going <laughs> You were all sleeping, right. right? Are you doing all this naked since you were woken up so yes, quickly? Definitely. Yes, I, I'm in the pajamas with the butt flap and the butt flap is down. Yes! The butt flap is down. You guys will just avoid the grenade and then <laughs> a second explosion again. Yes. I'm sorry, I'm a genius, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, God, I'm clever. For my second attack, oh, no. I want to really found out why you were in that prison cell. I've never questioned it before. We've never wanted to make you uncomfortable, but we're about to walk into uh, we didn't. a party, and I feel like we need a bit of a history lesson. I know you're right. Should we guess? Was it public nudity? <laughs> a bit. <laughs> uh, I've never had to say this out loud before. I've never actually had this discussion with anyone. It's okay. It gets better. <laughs> <laughs> Do I get an inspiration die for that? <laughs> I'll give you a d6 inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> Briarwoods, Lord and Lady Briarwoods, Briarwood are responsible for the death of my entire family. No. Oh. Whitestone was my home. Uh, many years ago. I don't want to get into the details. I came from a big family. I came from a, a proud family. One night, they were invited in to our home and over the course of that night, they slaughtered everybody. They are evil. They are corrupting. The few survivors of Castle Whitestone who did survive only survived through deceit and by working for the Briarwoods, turning on their masters. Thankfully, the, the Dorola family still has standing elsewhere, and there's other branches of, of the family other than my, my father's. <sighs> I was lost for quite a while after that happened. I had nothing else in my life other than my family. I was never really going to inherit anything. I wasn't going to run anything. I was idle. And at some point, I made the decision that I was, if nothing else, I was, I survived to maybe extract some vengeance, maybe set something right, maybe stop whatever it was they were doing, I don't know. Uh, I don't know, I, there was one of their party, uh, Dr. Ripley. She was in charge of something during the 
the murder, I don't know what. She... I chased her. I chased her down. It took a year. And I had my gun. And I discovered where she was and where she was working on some ruins. And I approached her. And I never even saw her face. Her guards captured me, beat me up. Didn't even bother taking my things. They just threw me in that dungeon. I didn't even, I never even got close enough to see her face. You know her name, but you've never seen her before. I saw her when she was interrogating me in oh. my home. So but... you could recognize her? Oh, yes. How did you get away when they, with the rest of your family? My, uh, my sister Cassandra, uh, my younger sister, uh, I see somehow evaded capture. I don't know. Uh, she set me free. Uh, I don't know what became of her. Uh, I don't know what became of any of my siblings. Uh, probably not. Nothing reasonable, nothing good. I... You witnessed none of these deaths. I saw bodies, of a few of them. It's all a bit shady. It's all a bit of a blur. How, how many years ago was this? Oh, four now, five now. If you know that they murdered your family, how are they still part of society? I don't know. I... I could have gone home. Ed. I could have gone home at any point at this, at this point. I just, uh, I'm, I'm scared. Did they take over Whitestone? Are they still there? I discovered approximately a week ago that they're still at Whitestone. Will they recognize you? I don't know. And these pricks are in good standing with the council. I don't know what to do. I'm preparing for anything. When I got thrown into that dungeon, I came to a realization that maybe I wasn't doing, I wasn't doing this the right way. I wasn't, I wasn't being responsible. And I prayed to whatever it is I pray to, that maybe I would have a sign of what I should be doing. And then there you were. Uh, I've been trusting that, that Vox Machina will take me where I need to go. And maybe what I need to do is confront this, but I don't know what this is. And uh, I'm terrified. And the remains of your family, were they killed by the sword? I don't know. There was an interrogation. There was a, there was a, Dr. Ripley was a, she was asking questions. I, assumed for all these years that that's what became of my family. What was she asking questions about? What did they want? Or was it just a political coup? They're asking questions about the, the castle, um, about things about the castle. It was a long time ago and I was not equipped for torture. I don't remember much. Do you want them dead? <laughs> I think so. Should we interrogate them first? Find out more about your family? Or just skip ahead to the dead. I'm, I, I put down my gun and I turn the barrel. And on the barrel is, of the six barrels, five of them have names. Ooh, shit. And Lord and Lady Briarwood are two of those names. Dr. Ripley is another. What are the other ones? Sir Stonefell is the other and Professor Anders is the other and then there's one blank one. Are they all members of the same party? Yes. They travel with the Briarwoods? I don't know. Wait, what were the names? So I have there was the Briarwoods, uh, Ripley. Let's make your life easier. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, Sir Carrion Stonefell, Sorry. who's he? He was the captain of their guards. And Professor Anders, who's that? Professor Anders was my teacher. He was my tutor. And he was in collusion with them, and he's the one who I believe Allowed them in? Allowed them to take the castle in the night. Uh, 
And do you remember why they were invited to Whitestone to begin with? They were traveling. They were on the road. I... It was my brother's, it was my brother Julius and my sister Vespa who handled matters of court. I was, I was studying. I didn't, I didn't think. And how many brothers and sisters do you have? <coughs> Jeez. I had six. You might Three have sisters. six. We don't know what happened to them. Still, yeah. You said you saw a few bodies of families. Do you remember which, did you? It's, it's all very much a blur. It's things. The things you just forget. Well, this is certainly tragic. But looking forward, what do we know of this meeting, event, party? What, what are we doing? Well, I think we need to do some... some Recon? Spying. Well, have we... Do they know hmm. Percy's among us? That's the thing. I don't know if they do. You, and you don't have to get involved in this. Oh, we are, so we are so we are one, We are one. <laughs> yeah, we do. You said you want them dead. <laughs> <laughs> We've got your back, guys. First of all, you don't really have a choice in the matter. <laughs> My sister and I know a little piece of your pain. I'm not going to get into it, but there's nothing she and I can do. We can find reparations for you. We will. Percy, Thank you. is this what you want? There's only one way to find out. Yeah. And if we kill them, how much will you pay us? Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. We ask other people that, but not me. 23. Okay. So, uh, over the next few days, you've constructed what amounts to a large metallic gauntlet. Uh, you have taken this gauntlet, you've uh, in wired all through it insulation and uh, Metallic insulating tips, uh, and what is essentially a small type of, uh, for lack of a better term, an alternator of some kind. Um, I'm just going to try and sneak in a few bullets during during that during. That uh, that's that's as well. the fifth yeah. roll is going to be that. Um, so you have constructed this device. Uh, the quality seems fair. It's untested technology. Uh, it's just something that's a brainchild of your own, utilizing Keith's uh, aid. Keith, I'm going to have to have you roll ahead and just roll a wisdom check. Summon a storm that slowly gathers above the top of the uh, keep. You guys start hearing sounds like rolling thunder outside, and you come and look, and you see Percy and Keyleth are out standing in the middle of the courtyard. Keyleth with their arm up in the air as this black, dark storm cloud begins to slowly swirl above the entirety of Grayskull Keep. With that, she brings her hand up and then brings her fist down as a bolt of energy <laughs> streaks down from the clouds, slamming into a small object on the ground that gets flung about 15 feet in a random direction, tumbles to the ground. You rush over to grab it, and you can see arcing over the metal, all these small electric arcs. You reach over and wait a second, you kind of prod it, pick it up, and it's hot, and you drop it instinctively. You take, give it a few minutes to cool off. You pick it up when it's warm enough, you put it on, and there is essentially this large, kind of sparking uh, metal centerpiece that's giving off this low hum. Did uh, it work? Try it on Tiberius. Sure. Yeah. Catch. Okay. <laughs> Yes, no. Make a constitution saving throw. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> <laughs> chance that it may like everything I make it detonate explode. or fumble or something bad may happen. Awesome. Percy, that's amazing. Oh. What do you call it? It's what you call it. It's good. <laughs> Percy. Are you, are you all right, Tiberius? I go. I just kind of go over huh? and give him a, yes. a, a cure wounds. <laughs> oh. You you manage to eventually shake off all your muscles oh. uh, that were so locked tense. Yes. Give way for a second. It's effective. That was awesome. I call it diplomacy. I... Diplomacy. Oh. <laughs> all right. First shot against who? Silas. Yes. <laughs> Foremost. How do you want to do this? Yeah! <laughs> See the nostril! <laughs> the <little> nostril <laughs> I don't feel bad for him. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do something weird here, and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold you on to this. I'm gonna get a little weird, and I'm just taking straight chest shots, and I'm just firing chest shots, and I'm just making a hole the size of a baseball in his chest. <laughs> And as it happens, as I keep unloading, the gun still breaks, and I'm still pulling, oh. pulling the trigger. <laughs> you fool! Your soul is forfeit. Die! Die! I'm gonna look at the other two. 
and start pulling out my bigger gun. Oh, shit. 16. Plus strength. 12. <laughs> Wait, did you get a four? Four! We're the worst! We're the, we're the weakest man! <laughs> oh, I cut my hand! Oh. Opens up and Percy stands there looking not Was very Was it overkill? Because really it took that. It took three it's, spells it's to exactly open this door! It took. Three it's spells! Not, it's not overkill if you use what it took. <laughs> three spells and I injured myself. <laughs> we, took, we took damage from an inanimate object. Oh, God. Let's muck it up. All right, good. Uh, currently visible at your disposal, Sir Carrion, uh, you have enough of a shot to finish him off. The smoke is pushing you. Vengeance. 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 Repeatedly echoing in the back of your mind. How do you want to do this? I'm going to put on the mask, since I'm still under... He still doesn't know who I am. Mask. Okay. You, reach up, you pull the mask down, the, the bird-peaked element of the mask now, wreathed in smoke, resembling very closely the entity that made the original bargain with you. I'm going to walk up to him. Okay. Yeah, there's no way to drop the illusion. That's such a damn shame. <sighs> oh wait, you told me to. I did. I could didn't. have, I didn't. I Fuck. <laughs> Can we do it now for flavor? That's fine. The mask will do. I'm gonna take one last shot. I'm going to look right at him. I'm going to catch his eye. This is for the Drolos. And let me say, you were the one I was least looking forward to. Oh, some culture. This is a whole. Uh, this is Clarot all fucking over again. You are, at the moment, the luckiest person in Whitestone. Do you know why? Hmm. So you're at the bottom of my list. <laughs> of the wall, wait, and prop her up and turn to Percy and say, in this. Cassandra? Uh, Cassandra, who's now stopping, looks at you. Goes, <gasps> she clutches the rapier in her hand, and you can see her hand shaking, just the tension of the muscles in her fingers, clenching it as hard as she possibly can as she walks up with each slow, quiet step echoing across the stone. Delilah up against the wall, like blood spilling out the corner of her mouth, <coughs> coughing, conscious with her one, you know, missing arm on the side. The blood's beginning to ooze now from the wound as just the sheer force of all the movement has torn the wounds fresh open and she's there and she looks over in the corner of her eye and turns, seeing the rest of you and sees Cassandra. Mrs. Hunter steps up, she holds the rapier at her side, staring down. This time, just a single tear crescent down the side of her cheek. Zyla looks up and goes, You could have been my daughter. She looks down at Delilah and says, No. Cassandra is a Dorolo. And you took them away from me. And now we're taking everything away from you. <laughs> and just thrust the rapier forward right into the chest. This strange moment where I was walking through the field and saw a dead raven. Here and it is. <laughs> more or less. <laughs> and caught my attention and it just kind of made me think about, you know, the past several weeks that we've been through and everything and don't know who knows it probably died actually in the rebellion maybe my ice storm, ice storm like killed it or something you're doing very well <laughs> thanks um so I, I i was looking at it and it reminded me of everything and I feel like I was instantly trying to forget about everything. Because I don't want to remember. But we should. And I don't want to remember you the way you were. Because it was scary, and I didn't like it. And I like you now. 
So I took the dead bird and cleaned it and kept its skull and put it in this box for you as sort of a reminder of what you could have become. I guess what any of us could have become, really, at any time. Because we shouldn't forget. Thank you. It's a little macabre, and I would have bought things, but we are out of money. <laughs> so. I won't forget. I'm... I'm glad that's not you. I can't even think of what the revenge felt like anymore. It's not... It doesn't weigh on me. Just regret. Regret? Of how much better I could have been. Thank you. I will try to be better. You know, better than you could have been. There's still a lot to come, you know? That's my plan. They're, they're partially a jar where you left them. Put it on. No. It's useful. I'm not having this conversation. Vex, by the way, I've Hello? got something for you. Yes, dear? <laughs> and I pull out the arrow. Ooh. What is this? This is an evening of unbridled guilt. Come here, let me show you. Okay. Uh, <laughs> In theory, this is a siege, siege arrow. Okay. Uh, shattering stone, shattering doors, breaking things that breaking should not be broken. Breaking hearts left and right. Uh, that is what you're after. <laughs> um, it should work. Never forget you're my favorite, and I'm so sorry. And I kiss him it. on the cheek. Mm. Thank you, Percy. That was much nicer than your brother. <laughs> <laughs> is that a black eye? It's, uh, I didn't sleep. Uh, I'm having a, a bit of a, a soul struggle, and I'm wondering if I might bend your ear for a moment. Sure. Yeah. Could I, <laughs> can I speak to you over here? Yes, of course. Right. So, look, I want to get my freak on. <laughs> I, I don't feel that way about you. I, no, I, yeah, I'm sorry. I mean, you're, right. you're very attractive. It was very um, unclear. I, I really... <laughs> so I know this is like your home and stuff, and you might not have been like aware of it, but they have these houses where like... Oh, where you get your freak on? Yes. Yes. Yes, we have them. Oh, good. Do you think they're still in order? Oh, I imagine so. Could you point me in that? No, I have no idea where they are. I just do know that they exist. I oh. actually had things to do here. I didn't have time for these. Oh, no, yeah, me too. Important things. I was just thinking for Scanlan, in case he gets bored, you know, you've got to keep him, like, focused. I wouldn't actually know where any of these places were, would, would I? No, and those that did exist in this town have not been. I figured as much. I just been fucking yeah. with them. Okay. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. I'll I'll let Scanlan know. Just keep it between you and me, because he's very sensitive about these things. I, I secret is safe with my indifference. Oh, that's fine. The guy who's just starting to crawl out of the the pit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna look him in the eye. <laughs> Javelin goes right in the face. Roll for an attack. Uh, Javelin, I do not... I'm using it as a stabbing weapon. I'm not letting go until he drops. I'm just... Right, no, I understand. I do not believe that a Javelin is finesse, so this may be a strength-based attack. Let me double check. Uh, That's fine. I, it's, yeah, was, so, it wasn't about the strength. So it's your strength bonus plus five. Strength bonus uh, plus five. The advantage because he's hanging over pet. Um, What's your strength modifier? Uh, one. So it's plus six. This roll. Plus six. Uh, Technically, yeah. he's he's. You get the advantage on the attack because oh, he is you. like there, technically prone as he's getting up out of the. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven. Eleven. You took your first attack. You just. Woof. He ducks out of the way, pulling actually like pulling down into the pit, and it misses his head, and he gets up again, and is attempting to reach out towards your ankle. Throw it away and just pull out the gun, shoot. <laughs> okay, go ahead and roll for it. 
gloves of missile snare. That's uh, uh, eight, nine, ten, 11, that's fourteen. So it does. Not only does it do no, do no damage, I actually I take it and catch. Yep, you catch the arrow in front of your face. Snap Six. it. Yes. And go, oh. <laughs> that's amazing. And the gun is going to turn to look at him. Okay. Thank you. Nice person. Eleven points. No, I think you see from the distance that the the the, the 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 visage of this this half orc looks back as you do that and goes. <laughs> How long do you live? If I complete my journey, it could be upwards of a thousand years or more. How long do you think I live? Less than a hundred, if you're lucky. No. How long? <sighs> I am Percival Frederick Stein von Musil Kowalski, the Roller III. No kidding. My ancestry dates back thousands of years and will continue for thousands more, unless Whitestone falls. I live as long as Whitestone lives. This place is the human soul. This is what we have built with our tiny moments. To lose a place like this, we don't feel it immediately, but it would ruin everyone in small ways. Not all of us are lucky enough to have a lineage in a name. Not all of us are lucky enough to have a lineage in a lifespan. Not enough. Not many of us are lucky enough to have a lineage <laughs> at all. <sighs> Which is why we save everyone we can. I guess that is one thing we can both agree on. This is good we do here. This is great good. If you, if you like, I could make you a tool that you could use with your current predicament uh, as some sort of Simple clawing mechanism for grasping, lifting, not getting caught in maybe, your mind. Maybe, maybe trade, maybe claw. I love trade. Trade is brilliant. Build and bring, build and bring, and we trade. I would ask one other thing if I'm to do this for you. One oh, other so thing. many questions. Did you have questions too? Did you have questions too? I do have a question. Do you have a question? <laughs> yes, I do. I don't. Uh, <laughs> I've got your hand. <laughs> I'm sleeping! Do you want your hand? You want me to sleep? I don't see why they're mutually exclusive. <laughs> you hear a bunch of different locks fiddling. The door opens and you see Victor, clean face for the first time you've really seen him before, and he has a nightcap that just kind of in front of his face with a little like puff ball at the end. He's like, I told you, I was trying, oh, hell! Possible. Yes, it's quite good. I love your hat. Thank you. It's comfy to sleep in. It looks it. Did you bring my hand? I did. I did. I brought your hand, and I will show you. It is very special. Come in, come in. No. Opens the door. You see, he's wearing his long nightgown that is covered in patches and tears in it. Part most of it's been just turned black through soot, but the cap is perfect. It's I, in perfect I, condition. I have a special set of pajamas myself, so I understand. They're comfortable. Please, some. Something terrible has happened. I don't understand how these games work. I need help to fix something. Something terrible has happened. You obviously care little for this world. I start to back out. As you step out of the room, you hear a whisper come from beyond the chamber from the darkness that says, is it yourself you wish to fix or something more? I don't think I can be fixed. There is something broken in the world. Then come, let us talk. I don't understand how these things work. I'm so sorry, I, I, uh, where do you wish me to go? Have faith, <laughs> step in, join me. I strip <gasps> and put it aside. It does Put my clothes oh. in the corner. Okay. <laughs> You're filthy. Um, and I go into the pool. All right. 
as you step into the chamber, freezing cold as your toes, cold people, your legs, your whole body eventually finds itself stepping into this this thick, freezing liquid. You hear the whisper in your ears just as your head reaches the level of the flood that says, Come. Come to me with your questions. Just as your head goes beneath the surface. <sighs> We're doing this. You're underneath and in darkness, feeling around thick material, kind of just swishing your fingers around. But amongst the liquid, you still hear the whisper again in your ear. Come, bring your questions. I swim down. Okay. Until it's uncomfortable. You swim downward and you touch the bottom of the pool. You reach a somewhat uh, concave, smooth floor to the pool. I'm going to head towards the surface. I don't know what's. You head to the surface. There's no surface, it just keeps going. I do not do well with this. You do not? You begin to panic? Yes, I do. You begin to reach around and try and swim up and find the surface, but it just keeps going. The liquid's thick and it's hard to pull through, and you can't open your eyes and you can't see anything, and the, the iron like flavor starting to find its way to the inside of your uh, mouth as it's seeping through your nose and your ears, and uh, you begin to panic even further as the cold is starting to take, and you feel your muscles beginning to shake and seize just from the onset of hypothermia. Um, you begin to head to the bottom of the pool again, and this time you crack your head on the bottom in the middle of your, and you reach up and scream in pain. As you do, the blood fills your lungs and you begin to feel yourself drown. You begin to shake and convulse as you begin to try and find a way to force that out of your body, and you can't. And at that moment, where all of a sudden, you realize this is, this is it. This is the end. This is, this is how the tale of Percival comes to an end. The sensation goes warm again. And it's like all that cold energy goes away. And you're now swimming in water, and in air. And the pain subsides, and you're breathing normally. But you still stand in darkness, and you hear these distant footsteps. Sourceless. No light, just shadow. You look around over your shoulder, and then right behind you, you see immediately a white porcelain face that's just standing there amongst the shadow. Do you know what I've done? I've watched. I have questions. And ask them. First is, can, can we stop it? Can we stop what's been released? Is that something I can do? Many things are released in this world. Many terrible, many wonderful, many things. Ask the right questions. Did it choose me because I was broken, or did it break me? The mask, which has not shown any expression at this point, pulls back a little bit from you, and almost seems to grow in size. It's, it's, it's strange, the, the proportion seems to stay the same, but suddenly your vision shifts and you realize, no, it's further away from you and is just suddenly immense. Like your, your visual focus just changes and your whole perspective suddenly causes you to lose sense of, of, of scale and balance. The voice comes in this time louder. You were always broken, Percival. And you were preyed upon, just as it preys upon others, and will continue to do so until finally destroyed. Can I be fixed? Perhaps. Your deeds will guide your path to salvation or damnation. The choice is yours. You skirt that line still. 
But the first deed is so... There's so much, and I don't think any of them see it. I don't... I want it to die before anybody sees it. Can you help? I've already helped, Percival. Do not think the path that you and your allies walk goes unseen. There are many of those in this world that represent the will of us, just as there are those that represent the will of those that combat us and always have. There are a great many deeds ahead of you. It's your choice to take them. Just know, should you not watch yourself, you may not find yourself on our side. I know. There is nowhere I can look for healing other than deeds. I like to fix things. All life is inherently broken from the start, Percival. Take solace in that. There is no perfection in life. Otherwise, what would be the purpose of death? It's to try and find ways to better yourself before the end that gives us purpose. You are all broken, but also understand at this point her voice gets very deep and very resonant. Mortals can achieve great things. I did. And the mask pulls back into the shadows and suddenly <coughs> you begin coughing, finding your way to the roof surface, pouring blood out of your mouth and coughing and eventually you find your way over, breathing heavily to the side of the pool and <coughs> pull yourself out to the side. <coughs> Cough. You're intimidating as fuck, you know that? Me? Yes. How? Mm. Everyone's always worried about impressing you. Impressing me? Yes, it's why we're rubbish when you're not around, as everybody's trying to impress well, you. Well, I'm just rubbish. I'm just all the time rubbish. I, I know. <laughs> Believe me, I'm aware. I hold her, I hand her a, a letter and says, here's a list of every terrible thing I've got going on in this city right now. Okay. So you'll know what I've got cooking. Uh, plus, some people that if you need particular things you can talk to in the city who are friends of the family. Uh, 10 things to see in the city that might be nice, and my 10 favorite books in the library. <laughs> Place you get a book. Oh, uh, it's doing why it's done for 48 hours. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna have to kill some time, I'm sure. I so want to sure to visit all these places uh, and read all these things. And... I'll try and keep the kids safe, and I will try not to be the thing that kills them either. Well, oh. I have something for you. Mm. All right. Is it a profession of love? <laughs> Damn it. Um, <laughs> I, 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 when we went to my house, or well, where I lived with Will Hand. I remember. Um, I got something from underneath the bed. And, Yes, it's Lacey Pendy. <laughs> <laughs> I will wear, wear them always. <laughs> um, this is something that's been in my family for a really long time, and I've just been thinking about it, and I feel like I need to give it to you. Um, so come closer All right. to me real quick. And it's, a, it's a necklace and just don't take it off. Okay. I will keep it on. We will keep you safe. Thank you. You're welcome. And please keep uh, all this safe as well. I will, I will. And keep them safe and keep yourself safe, please. <sighs> Let's all be safe. <laughs> uh, Vex is still up cleaning out your garments, is that right? 
Uh, and Pike, you went to bed, but you're waking up early, correct? Yes. Yeah, so essentially it's just Vex who's awake. Vex! Yes? Little shit put a charm on me. I felt it wear <laughs> off about 45 minutes ago. Before we made the deal with him. Yes, around the time uh, we made it. Uh, see, I made the deal because you said it was fine. Well, I... It's fine, you didn't know. Well? Well, at least we know that he definitely can't be trusted. It's our own stupid fault. We knew we weren't supposed to trust anything here. I know. <laughs> We've got to make sure that Pike doesn't give him back his his whistle just yet, and we have to figure Why out a way. Why did you want to fix his whistle? You just liked him. He was so nice. You just liked I mean, him. he was just so nice. Damn it, I thought you knew something we didn't know. I really, I, really thought you did. I did. It's sadly what I knew is he's a little shit. <laughs> I just didn't know till about half an hour ago. I hate magic. Hindsight sucks. I hate magic. <laughs> Percy. Word. Change of subject. Mm. Would you say I look put together? Well off. With this armor. Uh, in, in what sense? Well, you come from money, right? Yes. Right, so, um... Do I look like I come from money? Uh, does she look like she comes from money? That's entirely up to your opinion. Uh, you, you know the attire she wears, you've traveled with her, it's, it's based on what you want to base that judgment on, whether it be just pure looks, the person inside, it's whatever Percival thinks she would be in his eyes. Hmm. She's naked in the hand. <laughs> Honestly, dear, you're too happy to look like you come from money. <laughs> uh, I don't believe that. No, it's it's a sure sign of it. It's just a, an abject misery. Believe me, I can speak to it. Um, you look too much like you, and you don't look enough like something you're supposed to be. Um, if you feel the urge to deeply bullshit, I'd be happy to help you. It's not hard. No? No. It is easy to pretend you come from money. <laughs> well. Uh, you just have to be a bit of a shit and wear what everybody else is wearing. Um, does this have something to do with that city? <sighs> It does, doesn't it? Who's there? Well, you know, everyone. <laughs> we were judged growing up, and I, I don't look forward to seeing that again. <sighs> well. It's not important, I'm... Oh, I, I disagree. I think, dear, I think... I think that if you're worried about them knowing whether or not you've made your money and made your fortune, I, I, I don't think that's going to be the thing to earn their respect. I think you're better off, A, with the company that you keep, and B, with The fact that you're probably just better than most of them. <laughs> I've known a lot of people with money, and uh, they are definitely not worth you. Um, and besides, if they have something nice that makes you feel inferior, we can just take it. <laughs> I like the way you think. Well, and then they're just, you know, shit without anything, and then you're you with their stuff. Mm. Thank you, Percy. You're welcome. I know it doesn't really help, but... <sighs> Will it's... you stay at my side when we're there? Yes, yes, and, uh... The outfit works. Don't change it. Thank Keep you. the hat. <laughs> All right. Uh, good night. Good night. Sleep well. Sort out this um, 
charmed mess in the morning. Oh, I'm sorry for my part in it. Lady Vexalia. Lady? Lady Vexalia, Baroness of the Third House of Whitestone and Grand Mistress of the Grey Hunt. So good, sir, despite your relationship with her, do watch your manners. It looks like a crest. No, it's a threshold crest. Threshold a threshold crest. 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 Okay, sure. Keyleth, the thing we talked about. And I start casting um, stone shape right under the threshold of the door to the room that we're in. <laughs> <laughs> and I cut out a crest in, in from the threshold. What crest do you create? What does it look like? A, a white stone crest from the threshold of the door. We break it. <laughs> There's a piece of your threshold crest. <laughs> it's not. Lovely field. I apologize for the rudeness of my compatriots. We will be gentle, <laughs> trouncing through you. We will make as little mark as we can and enjoy the splendor of your ever-changing colors. <laughs> you are majestic. You are windswept. <laughs> I'm flirting with grass. You are everything I could hope for in a beautiful way. I'm gonna let Scanlon sleep a little bit more because he looks fucking exhausted. <laughs> That's it, you put him back to sleep? Well, you go back to bed then. Yeah. No, I'm fine. What? Can we like? you know, make things look fancy around here so when they all come back, we look like we're ready to, to talk to them. I slowly crawl out, I pull out a piece of parchment. Really pretty? Sure, sure. I mean, I'm asleep right now, but when I wake up. Oh. Yeah. And I write, hello fairies, we're napping. <laughs> and I put it on the tree above us. <laughs> Go back to sleep. <laughs> Something. Maybe it eats living creatures. Maybe it eats so things. First trees. of all, would you imagine that the science of the Feywild, I don't know what that phrase means, would it be the same as as our own world? No. Maybe it follows different rules. It probably does, but at the same time, you don't get something from nothing. And life needs things to live. It That's so poetic. It's <laughs> Strong. It resembles a very, very kind of vinegar uh, turned mm. wine mixed with this sort of, it's a bunch of uh, for lack of a better term, a very earthy scent. It's almost herbal, medicinal. Oh, good. It's not at all what you would have expected for something so expensive. Who wants to be first? Kill it? Yes. Fill me up. Yeah. Oh, wait, you want me to go first? I want a shot. You want a it's shot? A very small as it, as it, it just took some. As it touches your tongue, um, that smell transitions into a very acidic taste. It actually kind of burns your tongue and it goes numb within a matter of seconds. Ah. It It is not a delightful flavor, and as the tongue goes numb, the back of the throat goes numb as you swallow. And as the numbness kind of continues down the rest of the body, um, the flavor has not improved at all, but it brings this kind of universal Whoa. numbness, and as the, the slight pain of the burn subsides, it, you, with just about a few sips, become extremely sort of intoxicated, but also just kind of numb. How is it? How is it? It's not very good. <laughs> oh, shit. But I've... I, oh, he's I fucking him wasted. <laughs> I slap him. Well, don't ever wow. do it. You should do that again. That felt really good. <laughs> I do it. Oh wow. shit! Wow. <laughs> Liquid <What>? MDMA. <laughs> I take a sip. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm not. I'm not drunk. I'm here, Grog. I want to know. I take a sip. You you take a sip, and the same Yolo. sensation takes, um, and the uh, the numbness sets in. The weird kind of <sighs> this like slight vibration at the back of the skull, and uh, it's it's like. You, the element of this reminds you of being very drunk, but with but a few sips. Hey, can you hear me? Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> you all right? Oh holy it's weird, shit! Weird. It's really <laughs> weird. <laughs> oh holy shit! Sand keg. Oh, 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 oh. Sand keg. Oh, 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 oh. 
いいですね。<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑>We're gonna see if you can overcome this singular I love human fear attack. of. I love no. a good panic attack. Percy, you're totally fine. No, I'm not. No. Um, oh, I get a, I get a, say, I can reroll a saving throw, can I? Can you do that? Yeah, uh, you can. As, can. as a, as a fighter, yeah. Can reroll a saving throw because I'm gonna pretend that number didn't happen. Indomitable will. This is a perfect use for it, um, actually. And I'm gonna do it again. I have one more, so I'm gonna just blow them all. <laughs> okay, I'll let you do that. Better fight that vertigo. Fight it. What were the first okay, two? I'll tell you what. Because I had to Three. blow all of those, we can say I threw up a little. <laughs> it's just like, let's go there. I don't know. Uh, that's uh, wisdom. It's uh, 19. 19. Uh, you feel the quivering on the broom as uh, Percy's hands are beginning to shake, and you can see the fingers themselves having to constantly kind of flutter. As you look down and ask, about to ask if he's okay, you just watch as this, <laughs> this spray oh. of, uh, of... I throw up, too, just because I, any time... Oh. This was a very poor decision. Oh, my God. Back, so you watch up as you see just the gentle rains. Yeah, have we gone forward or have we just gone straight <laughs> up? Six gone straight up an arc. Uh, okay, so they're not. We're not going to hit them. This, just yarf from this, the top uh, of the room. No, but this, it I'm sorry. Excuse me, but this is poetic justice <laughs> if I have ever. <laughs> <laughs> That is beautiful. This has been the metaphor game. This is just yeah. a metaphor for our entire existence. Yeah. Just. Just sort of. Yeah, I'm just going to stare at her, and the best thing I'm going to do is. No matter what today, I forgive you, but I cannot let you leave. And I'm just gonna sit and reload. I mean, I'm the only, only one. Only those of you who don't care about my privacy. Uh, tell us, would you like this to be in your voice? Yes. <laughs> oh. No, it was never supposed to be in my voice. My I didn't friends, record. I have just taken an audience with a Raven Queen who has snuffed any hope of my redemption, for which I am truly grateful. With new clarity, I can finally see my life as a series of compounding poor choices. There was nothing I could have done to save my family, yet I still sold my soul in search of vengeance. Later, I allowed Ripley to leave, knowing full well she was a greater threat to the world than the Briarwoods would ever be. I traded the world's safety for the belief that I could murder my way to peace. That if I could be a greater horror, it would bring my family back. And once this lie was shattered, I scrambled to find a solution to make a deal, to undo my mistakes and balance the scales. I now understand that there are no scales. There is no redemption and no ledger that judges me good or evil. I am free to simply be myself and live with the terrible mistakes I've made. Tomorrow I start upon a new path beyond the gods and demons who have tormented me, and it's your friendship that makes this possible. Though a shadow lingers, the need for vengeance is gone. I will try and do my best for you all. I will strive to buy the future more time, free of my legacy. I will stand against the children of my madness in hope, rather than in anger. And if you are reading this, then my travels on this path have come to an end. Scanlan, thank you for destroying my gun. Do not let the weight of life's consequences crush your bravado. It is your greatest weapon. Grog. Yes. <laughs> Remember that your compassion has brought you this far, not just strength. And for the record, I would have wiped the floor with you that time. 
facts. <laughs> you often remind me of myself, and yes, I know that that is a bit of an insult. Stop indulging your desire to sacrifice and try being the man these two women seem to think you are. They may actually need you one day. Vex, you often remind me of myself, and that is the highest of compliments. <laughs> oh, true to form, Percival, true to form. I hope you free yourself of whatever voices haunt you. Also, since I'm gone, you're the clever one now. Still the clever one. Keyleth, don't let the world break you. Learn to forgive it for not living up to your standards. We promise to try harder. <laughs> Smart ass. Yeah. Pike, it is wonderful to have you home. You bring everyone closer to their best selves. And I can only imagine what a burden that must be. Oh, she's out. <laughs> Allow yourself some vice and failure. Done and done. <laughs> He'll still love you just the same. All true. As to what must be done, I'd be content to be left in a ditch, my weapons and notes burnt and broken. Fucker. But I imagine that would upset Cass. If you can, take me home. If you can't, I understand. She knows where to find the rest of my instructions. Times being what they are, burn my work or bring it home in the hopes of aiding in the defense of Whitestone. I leave this judgment in your capable hands. Please find Ripley before she does too many terrible things and erase my legacy wherever you find it. That silence would be the greatest eulogy I could ever hope for. Oh dear. With eternal gratitude. Percival of Vox Machina. I'm gonna kick his fucking ass. The abyss. Oh, that's curious. I figured that quite possibly in private, you and I have the closest dispositions. I could see that kinship as well. Once that fight is concluded, we mop up whatever's left. We expect to see your participation in some form. Um, I understand if it can't be direct, but... I can be evade, I just have to be... I have to remain inconspicuous. I cannot be seen to be part of this confrontation. Obviously. And uh, all shall be fine. We may have... How are you? After dying? Um, I'm trying really hard not to think about it, actually. Uh, I don't know. Honestly. <laughs> um, uh, there hasn't been a lot of time to uh, process. No, there hasn't. It's a lot in a few days. Um, I would say it would be nice to be going home, except I know we're going home too. So there's going to be no relief. No, not for a while, I don't think. That creature hanging around. Yes. Yeah, death was not pleasant. No. It was, uh... <coughs> I have to tell you something. All right. Do you know... Do you know what Fenthris means? I don't, actually. It comes from the Elvish woods. I'm surprised. Um, growth and protection. Um, I would have eventually looked it up, just because <laughs> it's a terribly boring thing I will do. It's kind of odd that Sonder had it for so long, since he was quite the opposite of that, don't you think? I, I tend to think that many people tend to exalt the exact opposite of what they are. Yes. I think... I don't know, I think he focused for so long on the betrayal of his love on all of the horrible things within himself that caused that, that he became the physical embodiment of it. And I think he was trying to do the same thing to me. I mean, even though I refused him, I could feel those seeds being planted self-doubt and loathing echoing in my 
mind every night. Reliving every wrong that people have done to me and everything I've done. I've recently, I will say before death, had a bit of an epiphany and have been trying, not always succeeding, but trying not to dwell on such things. That's actually what I wanted to talk to you about. <laughs> In the fight with Ripley. Yes. Your last words to her were, I forgive you. Yes. It was such a surprise. Yes. <laughs> I, I, I pull out Fentherist and I show him what I've carved onto it. It's Sinaith. Do you know that word? Uh, how common is that word? Uh, you, you know the word. I would know the word. It, it's forgive. Oh. I carved this on Fentris because that's the key, isn't it? It's the only way to really grow. I think so. I've... I'm trying. I, it's, it's... It's the only thing I've tried that's made any sense so far. And it felt very liberating. It felt good. It felt, it felt perfect. And it wasn't about her and it wasn't, it was just about me. Honestly, that was really the thing that I, I noticed was it wasn't, I didn't say it to make her feel better. I didn't say it to give her any peace. Uh, and I came to that to that feeling before running into her. I I didn't know if it would be true when I saw her, but I feel like so much of my energy had been such a waste, and worse than a waste, had been twisted in the wrong direction. And it's too late for a lot of things. There are things I cannot take back, and things that I have done that will forever be terrible. Percy. And, but that's not the point, though, I suppose. It isn't. And Whoever that boy was that created those things, that suffered such whores that he felt they were... they were justified? You have to forgive him, too. Because everything you've suffered and endured and created in that time has made you into the person that you are now. And you have a brilliant mind. And any darkness that might cloud your vision on occasion, the fact that you found it within yourself to forgive her means that it will never overtake you. Thank you. I would like to think we're all better than we think we are. Except maybe your brother, I think he's just a mess. He's terrible, isn't he? The just the worst. Is he in here? Maybe. He's probably hiding somewhere. Shouldn't have given him that ring. <laughs> Thank you. I know. I know I have to forgive myself. I'm not quite there yet, but I can see a path. And I like where we are and what we're doing. And uh, I think that we're, we're the right people in the right place, in the right time. I agree. And this, this engraving is a reminder that every time I attack, it's not out of vengeance. I would be horrified if you were taking yourself too seriously. Never. Did you see the, the bear that I carved on the tree? It was quite lovely. It was quite lovely. I don't know if the tree is quite as happy with it, but I'm, <laughs> I was quite impressed. Ah. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> That's all. What room are we in, out of curiosity, by the way? It's no room. We're in the woods. Oh, no room. We're in the woods. Mm-hmm. All right, and as I walk away, I walk up, I kiss her, 
So we'll talk later. <gasps> and I walk away. And I stab Speaker Asun three times in the back with my sword. Oh shit! Oh, oh, let's oh, fucking oh, do this shit. shit! Let's do it! Let's do it! Oh shit! Do it! Well, but we need to know the ritual. No. It's too late. He did it. Fuck. Oh, yeah! Let's see, no. Great. Yeah! Great. Go Great. ahead and roll. Three That's a surprise of attack. Points I know right it is. Three oh, percent of the hit God, why? why? We're in crazy costumes. Check out the brain on brain. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, who is it's it? Who? <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> it's me. I have something to show you. Percy? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm an evil green dragon. Are you baby. here for our later talk? <laughs> no, this is a very... Open the door, I have something to show you. Fine. I open the door completely naked. Oh! What was it, dear? <laughs> it's a power play. I love it. <laughs> I don't remember, but it was oh, mostly yeah. to head in this direction. Can I come in? Sure, of course. <laughs> Would you like to talk before or after? <laughs> I open the bag. <laughs> I pull out the first bottle. This is called Die Heart. Oh. I pull out the second one. This we simply call Courage. Okay. I pull out the third one. This is a snow mead. I put it, and this is green tier whiskey. Drink the Courage one now. We're going to start with the Courage. <laughs> <laughs> and not talk about dragons. And I one run in and shut the door. <laughs> All right. So it occurs to me, I've never given you a full tour of the treasury room, have I? Um, why? No, personally. I'm grabbing the wine and I'm leaving. You're right now. Gonna fuck in the treasury? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Who has never wanted to have the full Scrooge McDuck? <laughs> I uh, I like that things are better between you and I now. I I feel the same. I I like that most things are better now. Not everything, but. It's a brighter world, even for us. Do you know what I like? Uh, I like the version of you that my sister brings out. I do too. That's, uh, I'll do my best to keep him in the forefront. And as for you, I like the version of you that's not afraid. So let's, go meet this terrible thing, drop off the book, get you feeling a bit better. What may I call you? They call me Yipkesh. What may I call you? Ah, Freddy will do for now. Freddy. Greg. <laughs> Freddy and Greg. <laughs> but wherein this is it fair for me to suffer for your stupidity? That is a question for the ages, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that we need on a team. We can at least. <laughs> 25? That hits, roll damage. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's, not, that's not the damage. Um, oh, yeah. 17 points of damage and 6 points of psychic damage. That was a bang. You scatter one of his spine numbers hey, in one get my shot. Back. Yeah. It blasts apart. <laughs> um, the other one. I'm just gonna. Um, I'm just gonna spend a spend a, a point for uh, grit for a uh, uh, dead, uh, dead eye. Sure. Just get advantage. Go for it. Um, that's cocked. Uh, tw uh, twenty. It's twenty nine. Twenty nine hits. Uh, uh, eight, nine, 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 14 points of damage and one point of psychic. Okay. He's still standing? Still standing. Action surge! Yes. Action surge. Three more shots. <laughs> Three more? Yeah. Hitting him again? This yes. Terribly yes. Yes. Uh, Same thing with a, with a grit. All right. Uh, oh, shit. Yeah, that's good to do. Uh, 16, 17, 24 to hit. Hits. It's against the spine, the second spine double. The just second say. spine double, yeah. that's, um, Eight, 11 points of damage and four psychic. He scatters. Yeah. Third spine devil. Yes. 
Uh, same thing with a with a. Actually, I lose. I God, I can grip loud, back. There's my demo. Yeah, these shots are. Uh, yeah, that's a that's a. Actually, I'll re-roll the cock one, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, um, that hits. It's echoing through the hall. Yeah. Watch for that. Everyone yeah, now, okay. every everyone who is ever searching for anything knows exactly where to go now. Yeah, fuck it. It's worth it though. Yeah, yeah, Thirteen yeah. points yeah, yeah, of yeah. damage and five psychic. Okay. Or maybe we've confused. Still standing, but looking rough. Yeah, but there's and four fucking. Enemies. Another shot. Same thing. Uh, same thing with with advantage. Um. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, twenty-four. Twenty-four. Yep. Oh, thank God they're easy to hit. Uh, that's oh, that's good. Sixteen points of damage and s- and four psychic. The third spine devil's just upper torso is disintegrated by the blast. Its wings kind of <laughs> flick off in two sides, and spattering now I part of the bone devil. Back, so I still have that. So I'm going to spend my last like grit. Just on our knees, watching it all. Like, yeah. Last yeah. grit yeah. is yeah. a shot yeah. to the spine yeah. devil. Uh, uh, that, that, that was already three attacks. I know what. Thought. That was three more attacks. <laughs> no, that was one, two. Oh, that was. That yeah, was you one, killed two. you killed the second one and then shot twice to I kill the third one. So you're out of All right, I'm done. Reload. And that's the end of my turn. All righty. At this point, you you take a moment and glance into it, and your your mind, instead of thinking of the magical orientation of the ritual, your brain immediately goes to the the mechanical structure of what this would do. Like, how how would you recreate a scrying spell in a like mechanical fashion? Wouldn't require magic, and then you eventually get to the point where you're like, I don't understand this. I don't understand how this works. Never mind. Really, you sure? You have to just think real hard about butt naked Terry. Real hard. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> <laughs> just, think about bring, just bring the difficulty up. I don't care. I'm going yeah, to try. No, One more no, time. The, the DC is definitely higher. Go and roll it again. Tan lines where his armor Come used to be. Luscious hair. Luscious, flowing. There we go. God so, 24. <laughs> and I'm thinking about Scanlan. <gasps> oh, oh you sneaky fucker. fuck. Piece of shit. Okay. So, Do you want to say this out loud, or I'm fine either way? You know what, guys? If I could have you all, except for Talison, go ahead and step off the no! just for a second. Oh, we're really? Let's go! 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 Let's Yes, you do, no, actually. He does get to stay. Yeah, you're talking more. <laughs> I get to stay in here. I love it. <laughs> All right, guys, close the door. Close the door. All right, we're closing it. Close the door. Out, out, out. ...to my sister's bedroom and have begun to raid the spring clothing to find the most ostentatious hat I can find and start shoving as many things into it as I possibly can. Make an investigation check, please. Absolutely. I was going with you. Oh. I had said I went with you. Yes. Mostly to get away from the gnomes. Yes. So you're both searching? Yes. So make an investigation check with advantage. Huh. Uh, 15. Okay. Uh, it takes you a little bit, yeah. and uh, you're being careful not to be too loud, because the last thing you want is Cassandra to come in and walk you, no. watch you uh, tearing through her outfits. Uh, but you do find uh, what essentially amounts to a wide brim captain's hat. Um, it comes to almost like a tri corner point at the front and curves upward. Um, it's mostly used for costuming purposes. It's reminiscent of uh, masquerade balls. It's used for, you, you actually recall when she was younger, that was part of masquerade ball where uh, there was a mask uh, with a long nose. Sure, it's, it'll be very ill fitting now. With, with Ooh, are there any oh, ribbons different. around? Uh, yeah, you find ribbons easily enough. Yeah. yeah. I want to tie a big purple. Giant bow around the Get top. Get a feather of it. in there. Get the yeah. whole thing, really. Mm. So it's very hard to lose him. Make a dexterity check. <laughs> I can make a ribbon dance. To see if I can tie a bow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Bow master. <laughs> oh, that's a saving throw. Uh, this is low, but <laughs> that's a uh, twelve. Okay. Uh, but it's a bow. <laughs> oh no! You successfully. <laughs> you successfully create. What is a bombastic bow of varying layers that kind of plumes out three times? Mm. Uh, it it resembles uh, like ribbon candy almost in the way that it kind of billows out multiple ways, um, but that it's pinned at the top, so it kind of poofs as it uh, cascades down the sides of the hat. Are we, are we missing something? I don't know. Is it finished? A big feather, like a, a white plumy feather. I think we probably have a white plumy feather. Oh wait! Or any color, really. Wait. 
I'm going to look to see if I can find some bells. <laughs> okay. Not in Cassandra's room. Not in Cassandra's um, room. But, but there is the, the royal stable not far away. Yes. Which does have bells available in case they want to have uh, parade uh, accoutrement for the various horses and uh, other Are forded these, like, creatures. Jingle bells or like big, big like bells? cowbells? No, no, no they're, they're, like, yeah. they're like jingle bells. Okay. Like jingle bells. All right, I'm going to. I'm actually going to send you on that one since you right. have the broom. I'll go. I'll need two. Of course. I'll find a feather. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm going to just take a quill, basically, and stick it in there. I don't even care. You're yeah, making yeah. a derby hat. That's it's, appropriate. I know. It's wonderful. <laughs> yeah. We found your tall hat. Oh, you did? And it's wonderful. Oh, great. When do I get to see it? It was sitting on a special shelf labeled tall hat shelf. That's lucky. Yeah, it really was. Is that it? What you have there, person? Yeah, it's hats. Yeah, let's see. Yes, there we are. Oh, shit. <laughs> Magnificent, isn't it? That's wow. <laughs> this is, it jingles, <laughs> it jangles. <laughs> this is an official Whitestone tool hat. Yeah. Uh, so that we can definitely find you no matter what. Oh. Yeah. Now, haven't there like a long history of distinguished Turid leaders before me? You would think that, but honestly, I don't believe that we've ever had an official tour guide before. <gasps> you would be starting. First Specs, now <gasps> you. Grand Poobah and first tour captain of Whitestone. Well done. done. I'm going to put some pistol shot in a small bag. What's Kaylee's mother's name? What is it? I toss it to him, dick, and I leave. Uh, 2d10 plus 2d6 psychic, so that's uh, uh, that's four points of psychic damage. That was a terrible roll. That was so bad. Uh, 18, 19, and uh, 18, 19, 20, one, 24 points of, of damage. Okay. Is that doubled? Did you do yeah, that's, du that's doubled. Uh, well, that was terrible. How do you want to do this? Oh. <sighs> Take my second shot, I call. Delilah, even if we die, it's fucking worth it. <laughs> and I take it right in her good eye. Flickering <laughs> around, like he's rapidly trying to find a way out. <laughs> what? Put, put it in the box. All right, you close the box. I don't trust that thing. The burrowing eyeball, are you sure? <laughs> no, I mean, I don't. <laughs> she is. Mistress of the Grey Hunt of Whitestone. Baroness of the First House of Whitestone. She is my heart and my judgment and the future that I have chosen. And she is the one that I have betrothed to. I want to figure out the, <laughs> this, the organizational system before I touch a book. There are no words on any of the spines. I pick one. Okay, you pick it. Just pictures. All right, pick it up. I look around to see if anybody has a problem, and I turn to the to the title page. So I want you do this because the book is in Celestial. I read Celestial. You do. It's ironic that you did that. Um, <laughs> uh, glancing through, it appears to be the describing a birth, describing a a tunnel, then a light, then a cry. I skip to the end, the last page. Uh, it seems to be an older man surrounded by his family in a small. Uh, looks to be the. Uh, black I've got it. I put it down. Shop. I pick up another one. <laughs> you glance through this book and first page it begins very similarly to the last one. Last page. Uh, this one actually uh, ends with what appears to be a uh, horseback riding accident. Oh, oh God, they're so. 115 pages in. 115 pages in. Uh, you get to a page that seems to talk about uh, the the sorrow of a lost uh, romance and trying to deal coping at a, at a young adult age. I put it back and I turn. What is it? They're made of people. Wait, what? <laughs> Yes, they yes, are. I just whip out my flute and I just start going. 
Oh, he may have heard. I thought you were going to die. I may have panicked. Wait, 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 wait. We were asked to, to plead for your life, and I may have panicked. Who did you tell? Uh, uh, some, some, who did you tell? Some deity. Look at your shirt. Tell her, tell her. Everyone. <gasps> <laughs> no! I panicked. Mercy. I panicked. There was a giant glowing sun, and I may have panicked. I didn't tell them. Well, I was a bit vague, but I was a not. A bit vague? I. I Scanlon, what did he say? Well. Oh, no. You know. First comes love. Don't come, don't, don't be. <laughs> then comes marriage. Mm -hmm. I may have hinted that we might have eloped. I may have hinted, may have hinted. Wait, uh. you're married? I may have hinted. Wait, no, you said you were betrothed. Bet to be married. Betrothed. Wait, I you're didn't married? say to be married. Oh wow, you just spilled it. Silence, go to silence. <laughs> Not being one of the chosen of the gods is we don't have to believe in destiny. No, we don't. We just, I think, heard a big speech from a god about not believing in destiny. I followed destiny my whole life. Mm, I know. And it wasn't until I got to the end that I realized that the whole thing was kind of ironic. Yeah. Why do we have to listen to anything they say? Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to the faithless. This is actually I a book. I kind of inhaled a little bit. I'm not but I don't know. That wasn't intentional. That was a plant. You have been holding a plant, and mm. I've been holding a book. Uh. <laughs> that got weird. Struggling them behind, and you're just staring ahead. It's really weird to watch Percival go from this focused individual to just staring off into space, and his hands kind of take over, and he begins moving the chisels along, each one of them almost too fast for you to keep up, and you get to the point where you're like, whack, 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 trying to keep up with him as he's just moving along, and as you do, you watch as this intricate scrolling begins to appear and dig itself into the side of each trammel. He, rotate it with the, he rotates it with the tongs, moves into plates, and gets the chisel, removes it, rotates it again, and as this continues, it gets faster and faster and faster. I need you to go ahead to make a tinkering check. Good night. In the morning. Yeah, Percy, get your rest because your last words to me tomorrow need to be indignant and irritated. Yes. <laughs> I've already planned them out. <laughs> Good night, brother. Good night, brother. I oh, wish sleep. The, while the lips do not move on this mask, the voice in your head says, You've done well, but do not approach. This is not for you. No. Do you recall what you told me once? No response. Do you continue to walk? I do. Make a wisdom saving throw. Percy. A no. Uh, no, that's a, actually, you know what? Hey, that's right. I took a, I'm gonna freeze all that. Freddy, this is not about you. Uh, that's a 19, 20, 20 22. Not Damn it, that was a 19. You're I know. The muscles lock into place, and you find yourself <laughs> held there on your third step. The voice, which. Can I. And I'm just going to say. <gasps> dude, dude. Ibkish. Can I sit. No, 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 I'm going to sit down next to you. You're too late. Sit. You've been doing a thing. Could you bring him back? Would it, the thing that you gave me, bring him back? There's no answer. Hmm. Nothing at all. All right. Now I'm gonna sit down yes. next to you. How are you? I have no idea. I, uh, I think I really miss my family. My, I think I, I think I miss my sisters and uh, my parents and uh, I think I was going to be a clockmaker once. I, I haven't thought about that. There was a moment. Do you remember when we met? I do. 
I, for a brief time, thought that I had died in that prison and I was just having a fever dream from starvation and uh, this was what death felt like, was just my mind making stories of friends and adventures and the things that I would never do because I was a coward and a fool and, and I miss my family so much. And I've done I've done some terrible things. I gave Grog that sword. You did. I it didn't feel real. No, it does. I don't know. This is a new I'm sorry. What were you going to do? <laughs> Are you going to fight the Raven Queen for me? Many years ago. I went to make a deal with her. And she told me that I was broken and that I had always been broken. And part of me was going to save your brother, and but really, I just wanted to prove it to her. I wanted to hurt her for hurting me. I think we're all broken, Percy. I am so tired of hurting people. You don't have to hurt anyone anymore. I love you very much. I love you. This has been a terrible day. <laughs> It's horrible. Oh. Where's Kiki? And, oh, where's Scanlan? I think I owe him an apology. Oh, God, I owe Grog an apology. Maybe I'll not apologize to Grog. That sounds, it seems like a really terrible idea. Oh. Darling. Yes? You're a good person. And you're not broken anymore, all right? We'll fill in each other's gaps. We'll be the glue. Um. And don't do anything crazy anymore. <laughs> no, no deals with Raven Queens, all right? Let's not fight any more gods. Let's just, I was gonna say, let's destroy the one in white, so maybe we just seal it up. Let's just leave it because, you know, but. I kind of want to see if I can talk to him through it. Is that stupid? How would I know? <laughs> Seems worth a shot. Right. I'm too tired to be angry. We did a thing today. A pretty big thing. Was that today? <laughs> Legitimately feels like a week ago at this yeah. point. <laughs> it's been a long, it's been a long day. <laughs> Ah. Uh, yeah, we'll rejoin. Um, I think that I would like to start a very complicated art project that's going to take many, many, many years. I'm not going to work on it all the time, day and night, but I'm going to invest some time in this. Are you going to be in your shop a lot? No, it's I'm going to build a clock tower, like the one in Prague. And I'm going to take many years, and it's going to sit at the front of the castle. So it'll be outside, and there'll be other people working on it. And uh, it will, as a proper clock does, it will tell our story That's once a year. Everything will play out. Holy shit. Yeah. That's good. And we may, may start inviting other tinkering artisans every year for, in, for Whitestone to come show off things, things that are not necessarily useful, but, but to show off fanciful inventions and things that are beautiful. And I love that idea. 
But let's not stay here too often. <laughs> no, although we will have to stay here for nine months. I'm aware. Every once in a while. Because I think we should rebuild the families that we've lost. That's a, there's a lot of names. Yeah. So many names. So many names. How many names? So many ways to irritate your father. Five names? Oh, at the very least. Five. Yeah. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah. Very and long names. That's at least three sets of twins. I, <laughs> right. Jesus. Um, I definitely want to build a statue to Trinket, the Wonder Bear, who... The Wonder Bear. Is he dead? <laughs> no, Trinket's around, but just so centuries of people in Whitestone will remember their mascot, Trinket. He prevents forest fires. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, we should, oh. As the years pass, we should start a festival. And bears will be everywhere. There will be, a, there will be bears will be involved in the festival, I like obviously. It. Especially <laughs> since the clock tower is part of the festival and bears do yeah. feature heavily. Perfect. Um, <laughs> Only you can prevent the rise of Vecna. <laughs> <laughs> I um, was hoping to stop, drop, and get in the fucking necklace. Never, <laughs> never stop um, attempting to uh, contact Vax uh, through the temple of the Raven Queen. And, um, you do notice that the Raven population of Whitestone seems to be perpetually seeing blooms every year, far more than it used to. I cast speak with animals on them, and I constantly try to communicate with him. They all seem to be ravens, happy to live in this space, but it seems to be more just, in essence, the vicinity more than a specific raven. Um, would you be all right if we um, increased the <coughs> Pelor temple here? Yes, I have a trust your judgment. I'm, uh, it is not for me, but I'm definitely I'm all right with anything that makes you happy. Thank you, darling. To be fair, you do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. yeah. I help Cassandra as best I can. I think at least once a year we get out and do something irresponsible. Definitely. Maybe sometimes drag these kids. Oh, yeah. Out for, <laughs> for shenanigans. Cassandra is a note, by the way. Um, Please. She's had a few pretty difficult brushes with death. And the experience has definitely left a mark on her. Within the year following the battle with Vecna, she begins to remind you of yourself at a very dark time. And recognizing that you come to her and help pull her from uh, the dangerous edge of lashing out at the place she's worked so hard to build. And you help her realized that this guilt she's been holding as being a tool of manipulation the times that she has been is not her fault and used against the one she loves. And in that determination to no longer be a tool for others to use, she asks Vex to teach her and train her to not just be the Lady Beacon of Whitestone, but also join in as one of its protectors. You showed some good promise a long time ago. Well, that was some time, but I've seen what you can do, and well, I'd deign to think of how dangerous three of us would be if I could reach your level. Hm? We'll make you strong, darling. We also insist that she leave Whitestone at least once a year for a period of time to do fuck all. Yeah. <laughs> There's a beautiful place called Dalen's Closet. Well, you would love it. It's not, well, yes, there's the, well. <laughs> Anything else? Are you guys happy with that? I am content to make a clock tower and make art and never make another weapon. I'm good. Hmm. All right. I have make white stone the tits written in my notes of things that I want to do. It's pretty so. tits. It's pretty tits. It's got a bear. You guys are doing okay. It's got, I'm, I'm imagining the bear from, from Burning Man, actually. Penny bear. Yeah, penny bear. bear. There you go. I like it. Yeah. 